Hi, we're the K3. I'm Jen. I'm Marisa. And you, thank you so much for being a part of this K-Drama Coffee Break. And this is our K-Drama finale series where we were going to talk about all of us are dead, but we decided instead to go full zombies and talk about zombie genre in general. So join us. Marisa. Mm -hmm. Zombies are huge in the K-drama landscape, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Like, super huge. But where did it start? Train to Busan. Right? Yes. Not the first Korean uh, zombie film, apparently. But uh, this film, it went to Cannes. Mm -hmm. It went global. It was huge. It made Gong Yu a household name for <gasps> so many people who are fans of the genre, fans of film in general. Because this just turned the zombie genre on its head i think it came out in 2017 right 2016 yes it actually says 2016, 2016. yes 2016 hilariously i just watched it this weekend <laughs> <laughs> i had never seen train to Busan. everyone had always talked about train to Busan, but mm -hmm. i had never watched it mm -hmm. um and so i kind of i kind of had experienced it through all the meta and the stuff online yeah. and like goblin were gone you scared of his own movie and like stuff like that <laughs> um and so when i watched it it was <laughs> I mean, listen, we all know I have quibbles about Goblin, but that still was a great moment. <laughs> um, so when I finally watched it this weekend, it was interesting to me. And this is what I really wanted to talk to you about was um, how different it, watching it was for me than I think it was for you and a lot of other people then going into all the zombie yeah. shows that we now have. Because this is the zombie playbook. Right. But for you, it you've seen it. Yes. You've seen these moments you've seen uh -huh. these actions you've exactly. seen these things over and over again whereas for me and those of us who saw it early it was a game changer right yeah which yeah. for me that was kingdom right. that was my first mm -hmm. really official i mean i'd seen the american zombies type things and mm -hmm. i i mean the walking dead i still after watching kingdom i'm like how did how, yeah. did, how did anyone get killed by a zombie in The Walking Dead? They're so slow. Because <laughs> um, the kingdom zombies were terrifying because they were so fast. Yes. But what I noticed watching Train to Busan is mm -hmm. how much kingdom borrowed from Train to Busan. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so that's what I found really interesting. Korean zombies have their own, um, their own rules of this yes. world, of the zombie world. Yeah. And so... <laughs> Where I found Train to Busan enjoyable, mm -hmm. I thought it was actually, I mean, I, I laughed through <laughs> most of it, which I don't think was the well, was supposed to be the reaction. It's different watching it on a screen, a TV right. screen. Yeah. Rather. Yeah. But yeah, like the whole the ending there with uh, Che Ushik when his girlfriend dies Aww. and he's holding her and then he she bites him. <laughs> I mean, it's tragic. And it's but I was like, what did he think was going to happen? It was scary funny at the time, I it, think. Yeah, exactly. But I'm saying because I've experienced all of us are dead yes. and happiness and yeah. kingdom before I went back and watched Train to Busan. Yeah. It's been a completely different experience. Completely different. So what was kingdom like for you after watching Train to Busan? Well, it was a few years later. Um, and I w didn't watch The Walking Dead. My husband and daughter would watch it a lot. Mm -hmm. But, um, I, you know, the, the humans were scarier than the zombies yes. in that. So, um, with Train to Busan, I think I watched it and I didn't watch it again. And I can't remember where I watched it, oh. but I didn't go back to it because I was scared watching it. Really? Yeah. Okay. I didn't watch it again. So watching Kingdom, but also Kingdom, placing it in the Joseon era felt removed. Um, okay. And, uh, you know, uh, I just, it was a different kind of ride and also binging it. So it was like, that was six hours. Right. Six hours of zombies. It was. <laughs> Six hours of zombies. Yeah. But listen, zombie movies are social commentary. Yes. Right. This is, with that being said, when mm -hmm. I was watching uh, Trying to Puss On, I was like, okay, so what are, oh, my hair's in my mouth. Um, what are the reasons for each zombies in each show? Mm -hmm. And I found it fascinating. Ah. So like in Trying to Puss On, it was greed and pharmaceutical. <laughs> <laughs> right? A big pharma. Right? Yeah. Kingdom, mm -hmm. it was hunger and power. Right. Right? Uh -huh. Happiness, we go back to greed and pharmaceutical. <laughs> and then in All of Us Are Dead, it is bullying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And almost self-made. Uh-huh. Which I was kind of, I was really fascinated by the social commentary of each of those uh, ideas. Yeah. Not sure where that puts zombie detective. <laughs> <laughs> That's a 
What is that one? That's yeah. an outlier. That's Did an you outlier? guys see that? That's a total outlier. Yeah. <laughs> Zombie oh, detective. Jamie it's like oh. ghost detective, ghost right? doctor, ghost doctor, zombie, zombie detective. detective. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure where that one goes. That's the square peg. <laughs> it really is. It kind of takes that whole zombie idea out of that. Yeah. But clearly he was, he was fighting corruption as a zombie. As a zombie. Um, yeah. So the, yeah. So social commentary, a lot to do with social classes, mm -hmm. classicism, breaking through that. Um, you know, we, South Korea is a hierarchical society. Mm -hmm. We like to think we're a meritocracy here. And so that it's, it doesn't matter how much money is in your bank. If you're royalty, you can still get bit and turned right? by a zombie. That's the thing that I find the most fascinating about all of them is mm -hmm. that the zombie, whatever the zombie disease is, regardless of where it came from, mm -hmm. it basically evens the playing field. That's right. That's right. And that's, that is, that is the, that's the thing about zombies that I am, wildly fascinated by. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's such a political statement, you know, sociopolitical statement. Yeah. Um and yet <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to look at the screen and it's scary and it's bloody and they're fast mm -hmm. and it, it's so full of tension. It's like how are they going to get out of it? And yeah. that was the thing with all of us are dead in particular. Yes. Because it was how many episodes? It was longer. Ten. It was ten it, episodes. It was ten episodes. Twelve episodes? 12? It was twelve. It was relentless. Relentless. And so the tension just, it's like mm -hmm. these kids. Oh my God. Yeah. It was so much. And I also find it interesting in Train to Busan and in All of Us Are Dead, there is no cure. Right. There like, is no cure. There is no, no cure. Right. Where in Kingdom and in Happiness, mm -hmm. we, in Kingdom, it's more of a stumble upon a cure, which was the coldness and the falling yeah. into the water and the worm, right? Yeah. Because it's from that plant. Yeah. Where in Happiness, it mm -hmm. was, uh, what was their cure? I know they cured it. But what was um, it? It was. I forget. Uh, it was the she pharma. was naturally it was, immune. Oh, that's what it was. It was antibodies. That's right. Yeah. Yes. And so they were able to create a, uh, a vaccine for mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm, I'm more, the ones that terrify me the most are the ones that have, there's no, there's no end in sight. Right. Um, if you can't deal with 10 or 12 episodes, <laughs> there are some other zombie films like Rampant yes. with Ken Bin, which is also just an era. And there is um, Hashtag Alive, which is on Netflix with uh, Yua In and Pak mm -hmm. So those are, you know, done. Right. <laughs> they end, They're a movie they end over. at two yeah, hours. Exactly. Um, but again, uh, I think in uh, hashtag alive there was there was no cure. It was just it was about oh, really? it was about being rescued. It was about trying. Like all of us are dead. It was about being locked in and happiness also mm -hmm. locked in a building. Ugh. And uh, how do they get out? So that was the thing with all of us are dead. It's like you've got other people working on mm -hmm. a maybe mm -hmm. we're trying to scientifically de decipher what exactly this exactly. is and how do we cure it and then but, oh my god we can't i know but the action is with the kids in the school mm -hmm. and how do they when they work together they're stronger and yes. like that's it's not this outside force with a vaccine that's going to come in and save you it's like how do you navigate this right. wave of um blood suckers <laughs> right <laughs> and then yeah i found i found i found happiness of all of them, I felt happiness was the most hopeful yeah. of them because right out of the gate, you had people who were not affected by it. So you kind right. of knew very early on that there was a way to survive this possibly. Well, happiness was also about relationships yeah. because it was the ones who had love and family. Mm -hmm. They're the ones who survived. Right. Right. It was like the selfish lawyer, the selfish doctor, the selfish um, uh, wannabe building rep. Oh, my God. She was the worst. <laughs> Oh my god! And then she showed up in all of us. Oh, right? oh my god! Oh my god! She actually yeah. got elected, right? Um, <laughs> Amazing. What was my point? They, they're the, <laughs> they're the, the ones who had love and relationships mm -hmm. and fam tight families. They're the yeah. ones who got through this. Mm -hmm. And so I, I think um, I posted on Instagram because I thought it, happiness didn't have enough zombies. Correct. But they just use zombies to tell this story about 
interpersonal relationships. Whereas when there were so many zombies and all of us are dead, I'm like, okay, I back off yeah. that statement. Yeah. <laughs> all of us were dead was one of the most stressful things I've ever watched. So stressful. So stressful. Like the whole time you're just like, oh my God, oh my God. how are you going to get go, out of this? Go, go, oh my God, going to get bit. sacrificed? Oh yeah, it was oh. awful. Which I only felt that way also with Kingdom. Mm. Like Kingdom, there were some moments, especially because that was my first one, right? Because, mm -hmm. you know, I did not watch Train to Busan uh, uh, before I watched Kingdom. And the scenes where they were like pushing the cart in that first couple of episodes, oh, they were gosh. pushing the cart and the the sun was going down. And yes. then the one cart got stuck and the and Juji Hoon's prince is trying to move it. And this horde of zombies, I was yeah. like, <laughs> I know. On the rewatch yeah. also, it, because Kingdom Season 2 oh, right? took over a year to drop. So all, uh, so in advance of, of diving into Kingdom Season 2, we rewatched Kingdom yeah. Season 1. And that moment was still filled <gasps> with such tension. Oh, I understood it better. Yeah. It was like, uh, dude, have to get break out of the palace and like use your actual physical, like yeah. use your muscles, use your right? body, like be with the people. like Be one of the people. Yes. Be one of your people. But man. Yeah. It's I, a stupid rock or tree right? root branch oh or whatever god. that was. Oh my god. It was so, it was so <gasps> stressful. The K3 is Jen, Marisa, and you. You are part of this K-drama community. And our podcast and our live chats on YouTube are supported by members like you. Check out our memberships and you can support us for as little as $3 a month or more. And each tier gets you access to great K-drama perks, like a calendar every month with premieres and finales, watch parties with some of your closest K-drama BFFs, private Zoom chats where we can squee and quibble all we want and it'll stay private in that room and a little bit more and you might even get some k-drama goodies so go to ko-fi.com that's ko-fi.com slash the k3 click on memberships and support the k-drama coffee break okay so so some of the stars that are in all of these i mean they've been huge names we've already mentioned yeah. gong Yu, yeah. uh kingdom it had juji hoon and beiduna which yeah. Amazing. But also right? Train to Busan, Ma Dung Sook. Oh my God, Ma Dung Sook. I didn't even. Right. Yeah. yeah the and hero of fantastic. all the heroes. Yes. Um, I think I love him. Yeah. So Jung Yumi was in it. Um, che Woo Sheik, which is like, oh, okay. Now I can see this trajectory to Parasite mm -hmm. because the kid, you know, he can play this every, every person, yeah. but he's a, he's a star. Yeah. Yeah. He's, yeah, he's. Yeah. He was, uh, yeah, he's, he's fun. He's, he's fun. I always, I will say this, and I don't know because I saw him first in Parasite, mm -hmm. but oh. I, he always has this kind of like smirk that I'm waiting yeah. for like some sort of like, mm -hmm. like twist to happen uh, with him. Yeah. That, mm -hmm. yeah, it didn't happen in this one. Yeah, my yeah. first Chewishik was Fated to Love You. <laughs> oh! <laughs> with was Jang, he, was and like Jang Nara. <laughs> Oh that was a, apparently that was that drama was not that long ago. It just feels old. It was a the different. It was a different K drama writing style. Okay, but yeah. he was he was very funny in it because oh, you know I do. I think um, he, I think he's very funny. Yeah, I like him a lot. Of so that. and Train to Busan. When I rewatched it again the other night, I was like, oh, I now recognize all the actors right? in this. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god, a small community of actors in in K drama it, land. It was amazing. Yeah. I also the one thing that also stood out for me for uh, Train to Busan, kind of going back to theme. Mm -hmm. was like gong Yu's character was awful oh yeah <laughs> was terrible he was yeah. a terrible father he was yeah. just not a great yeah. person yeah. but i found it really interesting that the kind of the big bad other than the zombies was that businessman who only was out for himself and it yeah. was like mm -hmm. it was like gong Yu staring at himself in 20 years like oh, that was like yes. a reflection for him Very and nice, so i yeah. found that to be a really interesting uh uh point whereas yeah. when he, when that guy was on the train mm -hmm. and just wanted to go see his mom which mm -hmm. was interesting mm -hmm. um he basically fought to go see his mom but then when gong Yu changed mm -hmm. he just fell off the edge <laughs> he just yeah. decided to save his daughter and like kill himself right and so i thought that that was an it was a very interesting arc to see that happen well also with that businessman you can see the influence on all of us are dead yes with um with our bully who <laughs> who doesn't never die he doesn't die yeah. he evolves very quickly oh my god very quickly right yeah okay so other stars um so happiness that oh, was the return right? of Pak Young Shik from the military mm -hmm. who and we mentioned this in our live chat which we do every other Sunday live on YouTube yes. join us because we chat us about what 
chat about what we're talking about. Um, he got to be a baseball star, a cop, <laughs> right? a monster, a hero. All of it. Romantic lead. <laughs> yeah. All of it. Like he's like everything in one show. That's right. Yeah. But Han Hyo Ju. Ugh. she uh, i love her yeah, she's, she's the great. best she's always so good like she she could handle herself in yeah. this which was amazing um so happiness oh also let's see um kingdom one and two yeah they do not oh mm -hmm. god that that, that one was, was stacked. stacked yeah that was super stacked yeah but those are the two you know mm -hmm. stand and then you've got if you go deeper into it you've got uh junji hyun mm -hmm. who, who was the <gasps> oh, who did ash, the of, the ash of the north and so now we're just waiting for season three right? right and so i mean there's just a deep deep backstory there that is yeah. i find to be amazing and I can't wait for more of that. Yeah. It was funny because it's such a different role for Bay Duna. Because mm -hmm. we just expect her. We just always want her to be Sun from <laughs> Sensei. Right? Always. And she never is. Yeah. I know. <laughs> but yeah, in this one, she definitely had her moments. But, oh, you know, go go check out our Bay Duna podcast. Yes. It's our love letter to her. Love letter to her, for sure. She's just, she's amazing, and I love that she's always the smartest person in the room, and she does, like, once again, is the smartest person in Kingdom. Yeah. And I love that she's even, like, schooling the prince, like, you're an idiot. <laughs> but I'll be, I'll, I'll be loyal to you, because you seem like a good man at heart. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Um, And then you've got, like, four uh, happiness we just talked about, and then the kids in All of Us Are Dead. Like, those kids are going to be Stars. Yeah, they're blowing up. Yeah. I mean, I think uh who's the young actress that is also in Squid Game? I think she's at seven million followers she? on Instagram. Yeah, yeah, she's she's been she's girl just, in the pink sweater. Yeah. Oh, she was her death surprised me and yet didn't. Like it was like right, right. like in the real world, that's exactly what would happen. So that is Iyumi, who is Iyumi. in Squid Game and in All of Us Are Dead. But yeah, the four kids, Pak Ji Yu, Yu Chen Young, Cho Cho. Yi Hyun and uh, Park Solomon. Oh, Park Solomon is all is blowing up. Like I feel like mm -hmm. of all the big jumps that they're all making, like he's the one who he's is, the one that yeah is getting the, the biggest bump fashion on that magazines. Were like, <gasps> hello, join us. <laughs> join us. And then of course, if you guys have been listening to us at any for any length of time, you know my love of Kim Byung Chul. So. <laughs> Kim Byung Chul. <laughs> Dude, what were you thinking? Uh, yeah. Like, I appreciate him wanting to save his son from bullying, but maybe not with your very own chemistry kit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> in your saying, high school lab. In your high school lab. <laughs> ah, and then testing it on your own kit. Like, I feel like, <gasps> I feel like, I mean, I appreciate the effort, to, but uh, yeah, but I just love him so much. Like, he plays bonkers like nobody else. He really does. <laughs> he, he really does. And then, but then he can go from bonkers to like completely heartbreaking. Like right, right towards the end when his like family is trying to burn them and mm -hmm. he was like trying to put them down. He just couldn't do it. And, and then he just falls apart. And then he doesn't survive this. I'm like, oh, no, I know. Wait, I needed some explanations. Yeah. And I love how he's like, find my laptop. Well, the laptop didn't have anything I except they, they said that the laptop was useless. It's tiring. That's what it had. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. But it was E- Hugh Hyung, who was sent on the uh, right um, quest to get the laptop, and he was also in happiness. Yeah, oh my God, there was so much yeah. happiness crossover. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was, it was interesting. Like he was, that was another one. Like I again, I think you can tell they used they were adapting it from a webtoon mm -hmm. and just threw in like these side stories that yeah. maybe got a little bit more explanation in the webtoon because it was longer. But like I'm like, wh wh why? Wh why were these all webtoons? Ah, uh, kingdom. Kingdom was for sure. Was happiness? I that one. I'm not sure. I Train to Busan. Don't. I don't Let's believe see. it was. I, I don't, don't think it was. I don't think it was. But all I of us are dead. Original. Was yeah. Was zombie detective? If it wasn't, it should be. It should be. It would have been a great web too. Yeah. Are you kidding? Oh, in zombie detective, wasn't um her brother trying? Oh, he was trying to make a zombie movie. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh my god, that was so amazing. It was so fun. Like if zombie detective was fun. If you need a zombie comedy, yes. <laughs> With it's some a whole different genre. dance moves, yeah, and <laughs> some very silly detectives. Yes. It's it's a lighthearted look at zombies. Absolutely. Um, okay, so if you had quibbles with any of these four, what would what would they be? Um, quibbles. So uh, in happiness, the so there's they're stuck in a building, and there's this outside world mm -hmm. with uh, Hunte Sook is manipulating 
all of the military and right? all of the like it just be that I know some zombies are not real. <laughs> and yet somehow this stuff was unbelievable. Right. Yeah, exactly. So. <laughs> yeah. The level of control he had was unbelievable. Yeah. All to save his wife, which we understand. Right. But yeah, it was a lot. Like one man having that much power was kind of. Yeah. Crazy. So it was like the, the willing suspension of disbelief had to go a little further because it was like, uh, you know, yeah. What's believable and what's not. Yeah. Yet, yet this rooted in military control um was not believable same thing with all of us are dead yeah yeah i will say that, that. Was the like I, I, I felt like that and then uh kind of what we said with like, these side stories with name actors that you were like oh my god they're in this and then mm -hmm. it was like there is no purpose yeah like that would be my other quibble and then i just i didn't i don't feel like all of us are dead needed 12 episodes at an hour plus an episode like i felt like it was it was long like it, it was padded like it was long it we, was like oh they're in another class exactly oh they have to get out of this, this one. one and i'm like if we were gonna make all these moves why don't we move towards the cafeteria i know the cafeteria was ransacked but i'm sure there was food hidden in other places or maybe one with a bathroom or yeah. you know <laughs> like you know i there were those were kind of some of my quibbles why didn't we spend so much time with how to make a toilet right and then leave the room yeah. Yeah. Like, did they keep making that toilet in every room? Like, I mean, I was impressed that they actually mentioned that someone's going to have to use the bathroom yeah. in this 48 hour excursion. But it, it was very highly detailed. Oh, yeah. I loved it. They had ripped it apart <laughs> and we showed it. We showed dad making it professionally yes. and the kids making it like as amateurs. It was, it was a <gasps> lot of like I was saying, like that was kind of stuff we could have padded out. We could have <laughs> trimmed funny. some of that. Like it was fun. Yeah. But we could have trimmed some. That's for right. sure, right? That's right. And yeah. we could have just maybe we instead of going with that, we could have just been like, oh, the bathroom's right here. <laughs> There's a bathroom in the room. <laughs> but you know, but these are just basic little quibbles because they are oh, enjoyable for sure. That's the thing. Yeah. Zombies. We will always tune in. Right? Yeah. There's something about it. Right. I really enjoy it. Okay, so okay. So if you had to make one recommendation, if someone was like, okay, Marisa, I'm starting on this K-zombie, a little K-drama, because Train, Train to Busan, I think you have to watch. It's only two yes. hours. It's a must. Yes. Um, but they either like, all right, I've got 14 hours. <laughs> Which one do I go with? What's your recommendation? Kingdom. Yeah, right? Kingdom is just, yeah. in my personal opinion, <laughs> Kingdom is the, it's so good. It's, it's so good. Just, it's the jewel of the crown. It really is because the story writing is strong. The effects and the direction is so good. They put so much so money much. into this. It's so well done. And then led by Beidun and Jujun <sighs> right. with, a, with a close supporting cast of really great actors. Oh my God. And the right? story was tight. It was, it was super tight. And that's yeah. what I liked about it. Like some of those yeah. episodes were only like 45 minutes, but there right. was no, like kind of what we were just talking about, about uh, all of us. Today. There was no fat. There yeah. was no fat. Yeah. And yeah, he, oh, it was just, oh, it was so good. My quibble with that was that season one ended in a <gasps> terrible place. Oh, my God. But lucky you. you yes. You don't have to deal with you that. You can go right into season two, and it's amazing. Yeah. But and now, Ashen of the North. You get, yes. you get some backstory, too. Oof. If you want to get really bold, you can start with Ashen of the North, then roll through season one and season two. I might have to do a rewatch and do it in that right? order. That would be, be new. really interesting, right? Yeah. I feel like mm -hmm. we should. Yeah. Now we're just waiting on season three. Right. Like, when is that going to happen? Oh, my gosh. Like, I mean, God bless. Jury san gave us Juji Hoon and Jun Jae Jun but with the same writer. But I think we all wanted Kingdom 3 more yes. than we wanted Jury san I guess. Please. Please. Because there's a whole, there's, that whole story is still sitting there. Yeah. Juji Hoon and Bei Duna were basically walking into Ashen's mm -hmm. den. Yes. Oh, we need it soon. So much. They're not even filming it yet. Uh -uh. I don't oh even know if goodness. it's been written. Oh, gosh. It's so sad. But, man, Twitter is clamoring for it. Yes, me too. All right. So, zombies in K-Drama Land. Do you mm -hmm. have any final thoughts on that? Because, I mean, we love it as a genre. I feel like it covers a lot of the social uh, commentary that we like to see. But mm -hmm. is there any other final thoughts that you had on Well, it? I find it interesting that it's All of Us Are Dead and also Squid Game mm -hmm. and Train to Busan are... And, Snowpiercer, like the the, the dystopian, right. <laughs> uh, you know, dilemma filled life or death stories are the ones that have hit globally. Yeah, because there's this overlay or underlay or through line of um, 
class, Mm -hmm. economics, power, (laughs) humanity. Who do you save? (laughs) Right? And this transcends all All regions and cultures. That's right. (laughs) Who's going to sacrifice themselves? (laughs) Right? Right? So, you know, but really so many of us got into K-dramas for the rom-coms. Yeah. (laughs) But those don't seem to be taking over the world as much as the zombies of death. So I just, I, you know, and I love it. I love that um, the whole world is discovering K-dramas through these ones and uh, which means we'll get more. I know. Right. It's, Mm -hmm. I can't wait. So that for me gives me a th- just fingers crossed for a season three of Kingdom. Yes. All right, guys. There it is. The K3's take on zombies K-drama style. <gasps> if you guys can, we'd love to have you come and chat with us. We do live every other Sunday. And we also have memberships over on Kofi if you want to get your very own K-drama calendar and maybe join a watch party with us. That's right. So find us everywhere. We're on YouTube. We're uh, on Apple Podcasts. We are on iHeartRadio. We're on Podbean. We oh. are. We, take us with you. Take us with we'll you. We'll come with you wherever you want to go. <laughs> It'll be great. <laughs> so until next time, we are the K3. I'm Jen. I'm Marisa and you. Thank you for being part of this K-Drama Coffee Break. We'll see you next time. Bye. Even the dog says bye. <laughs>